Hi, my name is Aura. I am the Gamer Tutor for the SLC, and today we'll be going over how to bake mesh maps. Baking mesh maps is a process of taking the detail from a high poly object and applying it to a low poly. The reason we do this is it takes up less resources when using assets and games. We want to use as little resource as possible, so that's what we'll be going over today. So I got my Maya open and I already made a file. I made two paintbrushes here and let's get the other one out. All right, so here's my low poly. I made it really quick in Maya. Then I took it into ZBrush and just created some light detail for the bristles and added some grainy texture to the stick. Part of the paintbrush. So the first thing I'd like to mention is you need to make sure that your low poly object is UV'd. When you're applying textures, your objects are going to have to be UV'd. So make sure to take care of that. And you're also going to name them accordingly. So I'm going to name this one paintbrush low. You can see I've done it here. And this one's paintbrush high. And when you're all ready, make sure they are overlapping as much as they can. They have to be right over each other. So I'm going to take these two, I'm going to freeze them, I'm going to delete my history, and then I am going to select one. Go to File, Export Selection. You can use Export All. I use Export Selection, which is just a preference. And I'm going to go to my file. And I already have these exported. I do FBX. So you can use OBJ. You may run into a few issues. So if that does happen, go ahead and just re export them as FBX. Make sure you name it Paintbrush Low, Paintbrush High. And then we are going to go to Substance. Here is an empty document. And I'm going to go to File new and i'm not doing anything special with this so i'm just going to go pbr metallic roughness i'm going to hit select i'm going to select paintbrush low hit open my document resolution i'm going to set it to 2048 if your object is just a background object or it doesn't just or it just doesn't need much detail Go ahead, do it 1024 or 512. Just keep in mind that the lower the resolution, the lower the quality. So I'm going to stick to 2048. Then I'm going to hit open. And it's going to take a second, but here we are. And once you get loaded up, we're going to go to mode, bake mesh maps. I want my output size to match my document resolution. So I'm going to set it to 2048. And then right in high definition meshes, you're going to see a little file icon right here. Go ahead and click that. And I'm going to go to Paintbrush High. And in the visualization box, you're going to see a little cage go around your object. And this just tells you what it's going to bake and what it won't bake. So if I drag this all the way down, you can see it turns red. And if I were to bake this, it would look ugly. It would be all messed up because it's not all in the cage. So I'm going to undo that. And also, if it's necessary, you can always crank it up, make it bigger. Great. So, so we have that ready to go. My anti-aliasing, I'm going to set to super sampling four times. Uh, previously, it was subsampling 4x4, so depending on what version of substance you're using, it'll usually just be the first one. Alright, so from here, we just have to pick out what maps are necessary in the Bake Mesh Maps section, or the Mesh Map Bakers. So I don't need thickness. I'm not going to do any subsurface scattering with it. I do want my height because I have some grit or that grain texture on the stick and i don't need my id map either but 
I feel pretty good about these selections, so I'm just going to go and hit fake selected textures. It's going to go through some funky colors and stuff. That is just the program baking the maps, so it may take a minute or so, so leave it up. Don't bother it. And then after it's done, go to return to painting mode. And now we can see that we have some of that texture from our high poly now baked onto our low poly. You can also see it here in the stick. Cool. When in substance, if you ever plan to use smart masks or smart materials, you will need to bake your textures as well for your maps. So we're going to go here and let's say you don't have a high poly. Let's say this is just what I wanted, but I want to use my smart materials. We're just going to use low poly as high poly mesh and pick your maps, hit bake selected textures and let it do its thing. But after that, you will be good to go and texture your objects how you please. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need any assistance, feel free to reach out to the SLC. We're always happy to help. Thank you.